This mountain stands near us, mountaining. It mistakes morning with morning when we wear slippers of steam to erase our carbon footprint. Winds, fingers wearing yours, you unravel a plow of harvested light. Notice its embers when scribbled on drowned faces repel fossilized wind. Bluing under a dimming north star, the reservation's ghost paws cartilage pincered from a digital cloud. Its gnawed bones opaque sigh, the pallor of bleached wasp eggs throbs in tree knobs, penciled in with burnt ivory smell. Rising out of the uranium pond, home picks bird flight from a cartouche box. It then becomes a chain of floating islands. Slipping into free fall, we drip pattern the somewhere parts, our shoulders dissolving in somewhere mud. The arcing sun whistles across the mask's abalone brow. Its blurring pouts into a forest chirping from the lake's bite marks stamped vertically on this map's windowsill. Kneeling our thoughts on ellipses evaporating from oils of fragrant wet clay, we saddle the drowning's slippery rim. Father's dying ceased when he refunded this hour's perfused hands plaster-coated in a glottal stop's brief paralysis. Pin-pricked holes for eyes, reversible teeth hemmed in copper thread, polished brow bones swiveling through trimmed hedges. He atrophies this aftermath, its highest frond withering on maps that dreamed our shadows waterlogged. He then howls a constellation of anchors flung at bluebirds pausing mid-flight where pewter wind creaks shut over the raft's hesitation. He explains the sun, not carried by horse, but a ceiling lamp flickering on our computer screens. Mother threw a platter of blind spots on her son without knowing that bees ached in her feet. The beads of her breath sank into his chest. He kept them for five long years. A tassel of singed hair cinched around his wrist. He latches soothing songbirds in his pockets of fire. He stains the night's rim with sprigs of dry air, exiting fevering bodies, cupped briefly by their itching. She daubs clear his brow, remembers syringes filled with lake mess. Wonders if it was him who strung teeth marks across her wrists the night before. Together they pace the ravine's gauge nearing empty. Step upon a pale horse lying on the earth's heat, legs upright in the cattle guard, butcher paper stretched taut over wiry ribs. Its gasping sent them barreling back toward the awakened cornfield. Somewhere between, they leapt back into their bodies. They didn't recognize their own voices. Her apparition ferries the flowers of their bruises back to the severing. The bullwhip's knotted eye turns toward her and only her. When fences come to suckle, where will her mind's legs carry her? Moths mill about her feet's sleeping fountains. Her throat's cave claims each sun's song, wears them like tiger's legs across night's striped and fanged. 
how they stretch between moon and helium, how they weave, tuned, and plucked out of the sea's gas maw, how they uncover with clear hands a handful of hushed hours held like silver coins where their eyes fail to shut for the third time. <laughs> 